Right now, some key household items continue experiencing shortages and inflation with summer just around the corner. The question is, will our air conditioners and refrigerators experience problems with this into the warmer months? Oh, gosh, I hope they're okay. They hold up, right? Well, we're going to bring in an expert to answer that question. Joining us now is Anthony uh, Atanasio. I hope I got that right. The appliance doctor talking about uh, all that we can experience with some of these appliances. Thanks for being with us this morning, Anthony. I um, want to start off. Where do you think we might see some of the shortages when we're talking about household appliances? What's happening now, as far as the appliances, is that there is a shortage because all the inventory that they had before the pandemic has been really used up. And now they're dealing with trying to get new product out there. And that's where the shortage is coming. And we even have a customer who, who's spending $35,000 on a new kitchen, but cannot get her product until uh, next year, 2023. So mm. it, it's, it's really tough at this time, you know? Oh, no bueno. Well, how long are people having to wait for appliances that are experiencing production delays? I mean, I know you mentioned people are redoing their kitchens have to wait a long time, but specifically, what are some of those appliances and how long are they taking? I would say that, you know, two months is about normal. Two month wave is about normal. And we get, we're getting a lot more repairs, especially last year, 2021 was the biggest year of repairs because people are saying, you know what, maybe I'll go buy a new one. And then what happens, they find out they can't get a new one delivery for two months. Mm -hmm. And then they go ahead and, and spend that money on getting it repaired. So we have been seeing a shortage and that I don't think it's going to get better this, this coming air condition season. Hmm. And Anthony, you talked about two months and that's when we're in the peak of the heat and people want to maybe fix what they have. Are we seeing delays in getting parts for those units if you're trying to fix what you do have? Well, yes. Hmm. Uh, right now, the, the air condition season really didn't start up in New York, but uh, for for all the other appliances like washers, dryers, dishwashers, you know we're seeing like a ten to fifteen percent problem of getting parts for our jobs, and sometimes we have to go on secondary markets like eBay and pay three, four times the amount for a part that used to be available through the manufacturer. The manufacturers have slowed down on a lot of parts, and sometimes people have, especially the high end. Vikings and, and Thermidors, and we got to tell people that you know we can't get this part, and it's it's a shame because it's a six seven thousand dollar stove, mm. and we can't fix it for a part that used to cost forty fifty dollars. Right, incredible. It's really tough to to think about these because so many places are experiencing some hotter conditions as well, and some places maybe don't even have air conditioning. Right. It depends on where they are. Oh. Anthony right. Atanasio, thanks for your help. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming on Fox Weather, and we'll check in with you again as we go through the summer months. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.